Hi, I'm Eric Johnson from the Center for Digital Strategies, and I'm here today with Paul Gorup. Paul's the Chief Innovation Officer of Cerner, and he's been here today as part of a, a workshop that we've been running called Securing Information Technology in Healthcare. And he was here specifically as part of a panel on mHealth, where we were looking at the, the evolving business models around mHealth and how that is uh, really changing. So, well, welcome, Paul. Cerner is a major player in the health IT space, and of course, an important player in the evolving mHealth space. And I'm wondering how you see Cerner positioned in mHealth. Okay. Well, there really are two areas. One area is within our existing product lines and capabilities. So uh, about three years ago, we started to really look at device companies uh, that basically could could do much new and innovative things about wireless. So we actually invested in a company called Satera, which actually has a monitor which is the size of an iPhone. You can strap onto your wrist, cup yourself once every 12, 12 hours and so, and get a bunch of almost all your vitals. So basically an ECG, uh, respiratory rates, uh, blood pressure, et cetera. So instead of being having those uh, selective set of vitals being monitored every four, six, eight hours, we can dramatically improve the quality and the safety of treatment by monitoring those patients continuously. I think what we will see then is that basically as patients are discharged, how do we basically now uh, monitor them and avoid costly readmissions, okay? And with reimbursement laws changing to, to look at readmissions not only after 30 days, but 60 and 90 days, that's gonna have a dramatic effect upon providers. So we look at a whole new new area of how do I manage the population, and we call it population health, and part of that will be this uh, monitoring on post-discharge, but uh, and that will be giving a, a person a basically a uh, you know a, a visi, which is this monitor I'm talking about, a scale, uh, maybe a CPAP machine, and other things that can basically be, be be fed into a hub that can actually be looked at every day, maybe every couple of hours, based upon and alert providers and push the same way that credit card companies call you when your credit card is being used erroneously. Okay, we need to be those type, we need to do those types of services. So Paul, where's Cerner investing today? Uh, we've grown about 20% uh, over the last two and a half, three years. Almost all those people plus more, almost 3,000 people are now working in this idea of population health outside of the, uh, the, the primary caregiver market. So we're really looking at developing solutions and services as well as infrastructure, cloud-based uh, computing models that can look at data and can analyze a person in the home. We feel that, you know, uh, in the hospital, we've created smart rooms where the beds, the, the uh, devices are all connected with the EMR. They can talk. We can program the pump on drips. We can program the elevation on the bed, et cetera. We feel that in, in the next decade that people that need it will have their really smart homes that will not only uh, change the temperature based on the outside and time of day, et cetera, but will actually help to monitor the patient, see movement, see whether their INO is okay. So Paul, we, today we had this really wide ranging discussion on the panel and we had panelists like yourself from the technology space, we had providers, we had startup companies, we had people from uh, standards organizations and really a wide ranging discussion. And I was curious, you know, where do you see the innovation in mHealth? I think it's going to happen in all, all of the areas. Uh, Cerner has done something by creating an innovation group within our company. So I'm just a well-funded startup uh, is the way I look at it. And the minute I actually start something up, I turn it over to the organization to continue to do. But I think uh, startups are going to be a critical part. But I do think what's going to change is as we start to look at this, the partnership with providers and organizations, especially the, the new concepts around accountable care organizations, is going to be a critical factor in how we really re-engineer healthcare to look at outcomes and to look at the care of a person versus the, you know, uh, taking care of a patient in, a, in an acute environment, okay? So we need to look at managing health in a totally different, 
different environment than we do today, as I mentioned. Uh, and that's going to require that we get a lot more data and get a lot more clean data. And the only way to do that is with, with devices that can be mobile, can be wireless, and download that data in a more pristine, more uh, specific and accurate fashion than we have today. It isn't somebody you know, taking their temperature twice a day and writing it down and maybe getting it right or, you know, rounding to the nearest deal. It's basically really continuously trying to monitor more and more of those uh, key functions, especially for those people that are basically the high rollers in healthcare. Well, Paul, thank you so much for uh, spending the day with us okay. and uh, being part of our workshop. It's always great to be back at Tech.